Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, Karibu Sana. And for my people who are coming back to watch this third video, yay! Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. So today, as you can see, we're wearing a bold lippy and the video is all about just showing you how we created this look because yeah i'm excited for it so by the end of the video if you like it please give it a thumbs up you can also comment down there just to tell me how you feel about the general look also share with your friends nakama who just subscribe please please we're on a journey to 100 subscribers currently we are at 94 i would really appreciate if you subscribe so without further ado let's get into the video First things first, we are going in with translucent powder so as to just make sure that the brows stay put. Then brushing through with a spoolie just to align the brows. Next I'm taking my illegal brow pomade and I'm just going in with the product. And if you can notice, I'm using very little product, close to nothing, just to fill in, not to shade, just to fill in. Brushing through the excess product and then taking my concealer, Zaron concealer, I'm sure it's the shade Earth and Medium. I'm just going through cleaning it and I'm using very little product so that I don't have the, you know, the brow lines that concealers create. Yeah, that's why I'm using very little product and if you notice, I'm using light strokes. I'm not using one straight line, just light strokes. That works for me. Next, I'm taking my HD um, eyeshadow primer and I'm just blending it through all through my eye. Yeah, to create a base for my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette I'm using is Cara Beauty and I already did my first tra my first transition in color. So the second one, I'm just smoking out my eye with the dark brown color in the palette. So next, I'm taking this MAC eyeshadow and I noticed um, if you use a brush, you won't get the same intensity as the as, as using your finger so that's what I'm using I use two colors and those are the colors I'm trying to blend next I'm taking this blending brush and I'm trying to blend all the colors so that they look seamless voila we're back with the eyes done I did the liner and lashes off camera I'm loving how they look Next, I'm taking my foundation, which is Maybelline in the shade Warm Coconut, and I'm just applying it everywhere I want it to be. Taking my foundation brush, and I've already sprayed setting spray on it. I mean, it gives a very flawless look. Look at how that blends. I really love this foundation. I think it blends really well with my skin. So blend, blend, blend until you're happy with the blending. Next, we're taking the Zaron Concealer in the shade Medium. And we're going with it under the eyes just to highlight. And if you remember, little product goes a long way. Today I'm using a damp a damp beauty blender to blend my highlights and yeah guys I also sell beauty blenders so yeah <laughs> and I'm loving these black ones yay so blend 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 until you're happy with how flawless your under eye looks 
If not, just keep blending until you're happy. Now that we're done, I'm taking the brush that I used to apply foundation and I'm just going over the highlight so as just to make it uh, flawless and not as pronounced. You guys know my contouring foundation is Maybelline in the shade Mocha and I'm just applying that in every area that I need to contour. Never forgetting the nose. <laughs> and with the same brush, blend, blend, blend. I feel like I'm always singing this song, the blending song. Well, it's because if you don't blend, you're going to have hash marks and nobody wants that. We're all looking for a flawless look, so yeah keep the blending keep blending yeah we're going in with a smaller brush just to blend the contour and the bridge of the nose The blush I'm using this time around is from H&M and here, just putting it on my cheekbones. By now you all know my highlighter is from Glam Girl. So yeah, <laughs> going in with it as well. Yeah, as for setting the highlight, I'm using my translucent powder from Airspan. And as I always say, a little goes a long way. Set, set, set. And setting spray time. This setting spray is from Negwald. It smells so good. And guys, peep the glow. Peep the glow. <laughs> yeah i'm loving this look already i'm so loving the eyes i'm loving the face i can't wait for the lips yay can you see the glow Aish. <laughs> okay next we're going to line our lips with davis number 54 and we're going in with my huda lipstick in the shade vamp and just blending all this so that to have a seamless look i needed this lipstick to be a little bit dark on the outside that's why i use this dark pencil and yeah i think i've achieved whatever it is that i wanted to achieve with the the, the combination <laughs> I love it so much. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please do. Also, let me know what you think about this look. Yay! See how happy I was? I loved it. I loved it so much. That's it from me today. Love you all and keep it Negwald. <laughs>